Hey, what's up? It is Monday morning, I am working from home, and the main thing that is needed to make a work from home Monday perfect is a fantastic cup of coffee. And today, I'm gonna to be trying this. The new coffee I just received from Square Mile Coffee Roasters. Um, it also came with like an extra free one, so I'm gonna maybe try out both. Um, but yeah, I mean, here's some, some nice B-roll of me opening this package. I actually received this coffee on Saturday um, and it's now Monday so it's been a couple of days since I've got it but I haven't had a chance to try any of it yet so this is literally like a first time taste testing and just getting my caffeine intake of the day completed all in one. But yeah so today's video we're going to be talking about coffee and about just like maybe a couple of the different ways that I have for making coffee at home and just some of my favorite things to know. There have been a few different influences in my coffee journey over the last couple of years. The first one being James Hoffman. Yeah, he runs a YouTube channel and is part of, well actually he's the founder of the Square Mile Coffee Roasters. He, his channel focuses on coffee and all of its nuances and all of its different sort of areas. So everything from the science behind coffee, to doing wacky experiments with like putting beans in a vacuum for a week, uh, to how to brew in different ways and also things like tours behind the scenes of the roasting process. The second one is a, a coffee shop based somewhere in the States called Atria Creative or Atria Creative um, and they again just go through different brewing methods, different ways that they make coffee within their own shop. Uh, and then the third one is a fairly recent addition to the list but uh, my mate Will he um, is going on a trip soon and so to raise money he put together a little coffee guide uh, which I, I purchased from him, purchased, I purchased from him recently. Um, so yeah, those are just a few of the things that have uh, sort of influenced me over the last few years to really just love and enjoy coffee in a new way. So before I get into actually brewing, making a coffee, there's a few different uh, bits of apparatus, equipment, brewing stuff that you, that you can get. There's many different ways to make coffee, but here are five of the things that I use at home. Starting over here with the Hario TCA3, it's a siphon coffee maker. It works through some kind of like vacuum. It looks like you're making drugs at home. My mum has questioned it several times when she sees me using it. It's just an incredible, incredibly interesting way of making coffee. The second one on my lineup is the Hario V60. I actually have like the plastic -y version. Um, the Hario O2 V60. So it came as part of a coffee, coffee subscription I was part of. Um, so I received this yeah, about a year ago now and I've been using it on and off. I use it mainly if I'm in a rush in the mornings because it's so easy to use. Um, I've also tried the ceramic ones. And I will say I do think the ceramic ones do give a better taste overall. I don't know if it's something to do with the plastic in, in these ones or whether it just some of that plasticky taste transfers across easier than the ceramics. But anyway, it's still a fantastic way to make coffee in the morning. Next up is the Chemex. And this is the eight cup Chemex. I absolutely love, 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 love the Chemex. So I think since the first time I ever saw one, which was probably two years ago now, I've just been obsessed. They just look so incredible, the wooden collar, and um, that leather like strap that like, holds it all together and just everything about the brewing process with it is just it just looks phenomenal it just looks oh it's just so good <laughs> next up we've got the mocha or mocha or something pot um, this is a bialetti 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 i'm really bad with all these brand names I have the Bialetti, I have the specific one for an induction hob. It looks slightly different to the original, it's got more of like a, a cylindrical look. The originals had more of like a hexagonal kind of style. And I guess I associate it with things like kind of really strong espresso style, like really that kick in the morning. 
but also it's super smooth, like it's a, it makes an incredible cup of coffee. And then finally we have the AeroPress. Now the AeroPress I've owned for, this, this particular AeroPress I've owned for about four years now. I tried it once at an event I was at, and I remember at the time thinking, I do not need this in my life, this is far too much. And I think that since then I've, I've really come to appreciate it a lot more. It's a fantastic, you know, little quick on the go piece of kit. Yeah, so those are the five things I've got in my kitchen to make coffee. Oh, so there we have it. This is the first try of Square Mile Coffee. Now, I would just like to add, this particular coffee, this extra free sample that they've sent, was actually roasted like two weeks ago nearly, so I'm not expecting it to be as fresh and sublime as the, the main one I actually ordered. But, I am still thinking this will be really good because I've just heard so many good things about them. So, this is the Buenda. Buenda. Oh, that isn't it. When something that good touch is the first thing that touches your lips in the morning, you know you're on for a very good day. <laughs> Nothing in particular stands out, but it's just a really good cup of coffee. <laughs> I wish I was more clued up with things. That's why I'm calling this episode the everyday, the, what was it? The everyday Joe's, the everyday Joe's coffee review. Like, it just tastes really good. <laughs> mm, that's so good. Yes, 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's time for this one. So, we've got the Rotutu, Rotutu, whatever it is. Now, it does say on the front just got hints of orange, cacao nibs, and butterscotch. And I would actually say one of the main things I could smell, as it was sort of um, brewing, was actually nuts, like quite a nutty smell to it. But I am very interested to try this. The bloom was incredible on this one, so just straight up you can see that just being a more recent roast really does have an effect on how it brews because that first one which was about two weeks old at this well not two weeks old but two weeks since it's been brewed it was in an airtight bag but it still it didn't quite like bloom at all whereas this one like tripled in size actually now that i smell it again i can smell the cacao nibs it's very hot still but but just like just getting to the right temperature. Actually, I can you can taste the sweetness in it. Like you can taste that butterscotchy sweetness. Again, a really good coffee. Like it's definitely not as I think I said about the previous one. Like it was quite easy to drink. Like there wasn't because there wasn't a lot of flavour to it. But this one, I think because it's so fresh, it's got a lot of flavour. But it also isn't like overpowering. Yeah, that's just incredible. Like that is such a unique flavour. But there's definitely like a, a real sweetness to it. So, you know, Rotutu coffee from Square Mile Coffee Roasters, I would definitely recommend. You may get a free sample like I did of a different kind of coffee as well. It, you know, they've got quite a wide selection on there. And they also have a really great feature, which I don't think enough of these subscription coffee or even just, you know, coffee roasters in general don't advertise, which is the difference between their espresso beans and their uh, filter coffee beans. So this is specifically for uh, filter coffee. The espresso ones are, are made differently, but I'll let an expert explain that to you. You can go hunting for them. And what I'll do at the end is I'll link those two channels I mentioned earlier, just so that if you wanted to check them out, if you wanted to see more about how I learn more about coffee, if you want to learn a few things yourself, then you can go check out their channels as well. But this uh, Rotutu coffee from Square Mile Coffee Roasters is, is, ex is exceptional. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like down the bottom, subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates every time I post a new video, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>